Welcome back. Last year, the Albuquerque Museum welcomed a Jim Henson Muppets exhibit that was very wildly popular. Now they have a new exhibit that might rival the Muppet creators. I spoke with Associate Curator of Education Jessica Coyle to find out more about the incoming Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera exhibit. It has a lot of people talking. Jessica Coyle is joining us this morning. She is the Associate Curator of Education at the Albuquerque Museum. Jessica, always great to have you with us. Yeah, thanks for having us again, David. Definitely. So this is a very, very cool exhibit uh, that we've mentioned on the newscast before, and, and I've had a lot of family and friends that have already checked it out. But uh, let's go into Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera, and the Mexican Modernism Exhibition. Yeah, we are, we're really lucky to have this show featuring some of the most known artists ever to come out of Mexico. So uh, the exhibit is here now through May 2nd. And you can come in and you have the opportunity to see paintings, as I said, by uh, both Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera, in addition to some other of Mexico's most well-known artists like Rufino Tamayo, Maria Izquierdo, and some others. Wow. So this, I mean, this is uh, very, uh, it's, it's intense because, I, and I've heard from uh, a lot of people that they're, they're finding out things that they never knew before. You know, for instance, that we've all heard about Frida Kahlo, but it turns out mm -hmm. Diego Rivera was the more popular of the two at the time. Uh, a yes, lot of backstory. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So the two of them uh, were married for several years. And um, during that time, uh, Diego was very well known. He was traveling the world doing murals. He came, did murals in New York, uh, in Mexico City, all over. He also, and Frida would travel with him, but you know, at the time she, she just wasn't as well known and her paintings just weren't as celebrated. She had a handful of, of shows and such, but she really became much more famous after her death wow. for her work. Wow, that is amazing. So for anybody, you know, we're still under some uh, under the COVID restrictions right now. What, mm -hmm. What's the criteria for anybody going in to see the exhibit? Absolutely. So we're asking that everyone pre-purchase their tickets online. You can get those, you know, find the link to hold my ticket through the museum's website, which is cabq.gov slash museum. And we're selling tickets for every half hour, uh, Tuesdays, through Sundays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we also have extended hours. If people want to come visit in the evening, we're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings from 5 until 8. And, of course, wearing the face mask the entire time. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, we do ask, you know, everyone wearing face mask. And currently, um, attendance is limited to New Mexico State residents. There you go. Uh, how long is this going to be uh, featured at the museum? As I said, um, the exhibit's up through May 2nd, okay. so you do have plenty of time to come see it. Although I will say the weekends in particular, Saturdays and Sundays, are selling out. So if you're interested in coming on a weekend, I would purchase your ticket sooner. Well, some very good advice to make sure you get a hold of that in advance. Uh, yeah. I think there's still a lot of us that are uh, still reminiscent of the uh, the Muppet exhibit that was there. But uh, Exactly. And I this one is, is equally popular. So I would definitely uh, purchase your tickets there you go. sooner rather than later. So many cool things always to check out at the Albuquerque mm -hmm. Museum. Once more, Jessica, that web address. Sure, you can check us out at cabq.gov slash museum, and you can find all the information about our hours and how to purchase tickets. Can't wait to go see it in person. Jessica Coyle, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, David.